Here comes the Queen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from the Queen City, Charlotte Flair. Ladies and gentlemen, you are looking at one of the reasons that the women's revolution has become the women's evolution. Many believe Corey Charlotte is the greatest of all time. When it comes to history, making moments, capturing championships, and excelling inside the squared circle, nobody does it quite like Charlotte Flair. And you can see the respect from the WWE Universe for Charlotte. And her partner, Zelina Vega. We're just moments away from this huge tag team match, guys. And I don't think I've ever seen these four superstars more motivated than they appear to be heading into this one, Michael. Satanas, Alistair Black. What amazes me about Alistair Black is his ability to maintain complete composure before competing inside that ring, almost embracing the calm before the storm. Black's a trained kickboxer, also studied the Indonesian martial art of Pensac Salat. Former NXT champion was undefeated for a year upon his arrival in the WWE. Just an incredible presence when Aleister Black enters his battleground. And what do you know about being tranquilo? Well, I wouldn't qualify myself as such. And her partner from Gomez Palacio, Durango, Mexico, Andrade Cien Armas. Andrade Cien Almas, a superstar that lives his best life, has worked incredibly hard and isn't afraid to let you know about it. Well, he's a third generation superstar. Really is a 
been refocused here in WWE. Much of that success can be attributed to his business manager, Zelina Vega. Yeah, Zelina Vega takes care of all the exterior factors in his career, whether it's his travel, his finances, his meal prep. So Andrade Cianomis can focus solely on competing inside the ring. Well, Zelina Vega is as intelligent and dangerous as she is beautiful. Soaking it all in. Great reaction from us. If you ask Andrade Cianomis, he'll tell you, wherever I go, I deserve to be the main event. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. Guys, there's nothing like a good old-fashioned tag team match. Charlotte Flair in the ring tonight, so expect some styling and profiling. Nice. What do you know about style, Saxton? Does your mom still dress you? Don't we'll talk about my mother. They're struggling for control right now. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Just attacking the back. Boom, what impact. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Oh, man, by the hair. This might be it. Oh, my. Harsh impact. Well, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure. Oh, my. Looking for something big. She's almost out. She somehow breaks free. But you have to wonder how much damage was done. Devastating elbow. You gotta believe this one's over. Now that got those shoulders on the mat. She's looking to get out of here with a win early. She's a warrior, guys. She's starting to stagger a bit. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. In a tag team contest, a superstar and partner lock up against another duo. Unless there's a special stipulation added to the match, the traditional rules of a single match apply in terms of winning the match via pinfall, submission, countout, or disqualification. Oh, clothesline! Takes her off her feet. That's how you eliminate somebody's vertical game. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in the ring against an opponent, and their teammate is in their corner. Here it oh, comes! Not again. Yes! <laughs> you can't see me! What a strike!
when you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. I think it's too close to call, but all the teams truly think and act as one unit. I agree, Michael. Teams such as the Usos, American Alpha, Anderson and Gallows, the New Day, the Hardy Boys, Cesaro and Sheamus, I could be here all day naming championship caliber teams. And when the tag team scene is that competitive, you don't know which team will be wearing the gold. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys... There it comes! Again. Yes! <laughs> you can't see me! Oh, so tear the features clean off your face. The two out of three falls match you saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time. Uh-oh. Perched up top. Dangerous situation, guys. If this lands, it is all over. Oh, from the second rope, up on it, the Shay. Looking for all the glory here. Two, three. They did it. They won the match. That match deserves another look, folks. Man, this was great. This was another great moment. That's a woman on a mission. She left it all in the ring, and I expected nothing less. Here are your winners, Charlotte Flair and Zelina Vega. That was a big pinfall victory right there. Talk about making your presence felt in a match. Wow, what a win. And it's matches like this one that make SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining.